Hey, what's up everyone? Sainar Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. So we are at the end of lesson two. Congratulations if you made it this far. I'm very proud of you guys. So we are on our second guided project, which is called Apple Pie. We're gonna create an app called Apple Pie, and it's basically like a hangman type of a game where you know the user will be able to guess letters uh, from the word uh, that you you know that you select uh, you know that you have created and put inside of the app and anytime they get an incorrect letter on the apple tree of course it's going to have apples uh, for each wrong uh, guess the apple's going to fall off of the tree all right so that's the basics of it um if you haven't already go ahead and download the student materials from the from the ibooks as you can see i have it up it's on page five of um our book app development with Swift so go ahead and hit that download arrow and then uh, you have the materials we need for this lesson so in this first lesson we're gonna go through um, the uh, basic uh, UI uh, layout for our app so go ahead and get started with the new Xcode project I'll walk through it this time with you guys again I know it's been a while so you open up Xcode create new project we're gonna go single view app I'm going to call it Apple Pie. Next, uh, we could save it to our desktop or to our projects folder. There we go. And then, yeah, cool. All right, so I am going to change this. So we want it to be built uh, and ran only on the iPad. So right here under targets, under general, under deployment info go to devices and we're going to change that from universal to ipad and then i'm going to just uncheck upside down uh, landscape left and right is fine portraits fine so we're going to keep it like that all right and then i'm going to go to main dot storyboard and i'm going to change mine uh, what i'm viewing on my storyboard to one of the ipads i'll go with the i'll go with the 10 and a half inch ipad and then i'm going to go landscape orientation all right you can view it and do it however you want to i'm just trying to do it how you know it's walking through uh the lessons in the book for us but feel free to view it however you want to so i got it on that and then i also want to make sure that my simulator up here at the top in the you know in the uh, targets area up here the scheme area i should say is set to 10 and a half as well and it is all right so the first thing is first what we want to do is we want to add our assets, our image assets to the project. So go ahead and highlight the assets folder, and then wherever you uh, have your assets set uh, saved in your student materials, it's probably still in your downloads uh, file. So if it is, go ahead and and find the the image assets which are in the PDF uh, format and drag it into your project. So I'm gonna I got all my highlighted so you can do um, that all right just drag and drop select them all all right now I'm gonna go back to the storyboard and we want to add a couple stack views so the first stack view we want is a vertical stack view so I'm gonna go in the object library and search I start typing vertical we got that up and then I'm gonna drag it to the top corner up here and drag it down here and I'm gonna set the constraints on this so I'm gonna to go to the pin menu and making sure nope I want to change it to the view so make sure all of them are changed to the view all right that one's that one's that all right cool and I'm going to do for this one as well Let's double check all right cool hit add four constraints all right, and now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our image view for the, the apple tree image. Uh, but first, before that, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the distribution is to fill equally. All right, cool. Now I'm going to add the image view for the apple tree, and I'm going to change the content mode from scale to fill to aspect fit. I'm gonna select an image. You can select whatever image you want to. 
I'll just go with tree zero for now. All right. Now, as far as the letters and stuff goes, we want another stack view on the board. So we're gonna do another vertical stack view. It's gonna go under the tree. I'm gonna actually put it over here in the document outline and release. So as you can see, it just uh, resized itself, which is neat. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna also do this one distribution to fill equally. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna set some constraints for the stack view. All right, so I'm gonna go left and right for sure. Uh, and also do the top for the tree, the tree image. So I'll set that one. And then, yeah, we'll be good with that for now. Uh, I guess we can do bottom. Maybe we can do bottom. Yeah, I'll go bottom. So we'll add those four constraints. All right, all blue lines, cool. All right, so we got that done. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we uh, add yet another stack view in here for our buttons. So for all of our all of our letters, right, in our alphabet, in the English alphabet, that is. So I'm going to search for a horizontal stack view because we want these to be arranged in a different way. All right, so we want them. Uh, so basically. So we got you know a couple stack views inside of a stack view, uh, basically as you can see already. So uh, these are going to be we're basically going to have five five rows of horizontal stack views inside of a vertical stack view, which everything else inside of a you know a bigger stack view. All right, so we have our horizontal stack view out right now, and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to find a button. Uh, so for this button, I'm just going to click and drag it out to the storyboard. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to just change the, the title to an A for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it from the document outline. Again, you can do command, um, you can do command C and command V if you want to right from the storyboard, but I'm, I'm going to do it from the, the, the document outline just by selecting it and I'm going to hold option. I'm going to drag below, right below the button and release to create another one. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do that a couple more times. I want to do it five times. Make sure they're right next to each other. All right. Oh, for this stack view, I've got to make sure it's filled equally. Fill equally. All right. And now we can change these as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do this all from uh, the attributes inspector. So this is it's gonna be a B, and they're all gonna be uppercase, guys. So all the letters are gonna be uppercase. C, and we got the D, and E. All right, boom, got that. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this four more times. So this whole stack view. Um, and I'm going to do it again from the document outline. So just make sure that it's right underneath each other and they're sibling views and not, you know, they don't become child views. If you have to, you have to move your mouse or your finger over slightly to the left and right just to make sure it's lining up correctly. And then you want to release off, the, off of the option key and off of your uh, mouse pad or your trackpad or your mouse. All right. So one more time. There we go. All right. Cool. It takes a little bit of practice. All right, so now we're at the F. And then we got G. I might fast forward through this just so you could, uh, could we, now we can get past this and save some time. We got Y. All right, so we gotta add one more button. So I'm just gonna go down here to the Y and then I'm going to do uh, option again, drag a button right below it, and then we're going to make the Z. All right, cool. Now we'll just, I'll just minimize all these. All right, and so the next thing we want to do is we want to add two labels to the, uh, to the screen just to kind of complete our, um, 
our layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search label and I'm going to drag it underneath the stack view. And I'm going to go option, do it again. All right. And so for this first one, what we want to do is, well, for both of them, we want to center them, center align it. So in the attributes inspector, hit the center alignment. And we're going to change this font's um, height to uh, 40 for the first one, for the top one. So 40 here. And then for the second one, for the bottom one, we want to do the same thing, align it in the center, but we want to change this to 20. All right. So that's basically it for now, guys. You can check your, you can build and run it at this point to just kind of see, you know, how it looks on different iPad devices and different orientations if you like. Or you can play around with it down here. Um, and you can also, remember, you can also use the preview uh, function by going over here to the assistant editor up here on, in the top of the toolbar. And instead of viewing it, uh, Instead of viewing the view controller, what you can do is, is you can click on this first um, option right here where it says automatic and go down to where it says preview and main.storyboard and it'll show you how it would look once it's built and ran. But it's always good to use the simulator, but if you didn't want to, you can do it that way. All right, this is St. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for everyone. You guys stay tuned for more videos. Take care.